Alright, welcome back to Reeds Outdoors, everybody. Glad you guys are back. And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, we are. Today is going to be pretty much like an instructional video instead of actually going out and hunting or fishing or anything like that, like I'm normally doing. But unfortunately, we did go fishing this morning. I'm, I apologize for not getting any footage and all that, trying to you know fish at the same time get footage rolling stuff like that um i apologize for that but today i'm going to be showing you guys on how to clean a crappy now this goes for any fish not just for crappy in general so i'm going to show you guys for you guys that don't know this is one of the best ways and this is one of the oldest ways that i've done it for a long time so i'm going to show you guys how to clean crappy i gotta get, go gotta go get the fish and put them on the table and everything but i'll show you how it's done y'all stay tuned Okay, so got the crappie right here. Now, it, now this isn't one of the biggest crappie I got, but this is perfect eating size in my opinion. So we're gonna show you. I'm gonna get to it, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, first of all, get you a spoon of any you know, not real big, but I suggest a spoon that that you know you got plenty of spoons. You don't need to waste any spoons. So. What I want to tell you is the first thing you want to start with is you get you a spoon. And the scales on the fish right here, you can feel them. That's the number one thing you want to do. Get rid of the scales on them. You take it, you take the spoon, hold it like so. Hold it tight and watch out for the fins when you're doing this because I can't tell you how many times I've got stuck by the fins by trying to get the scales off. But anyway, this is how you start doing it. You take the scales and you go the opposite direction of the scales. The scales are going this way. So you go the opposite direction, and you get the scales off the fish. Make sure you get them all off of him, because I promise you, you don't want any scales on them when you go to eat him. So make sure you get all the scales off of him. Make sure you get around his fins good and everything else. You can actually feel the, the uh, scales. If you miss some, run your fingers around the edges. And you'll feel them like, for instance, I got a little bit right here I didn't get. Mm. Alright, so turn the fish around. And you do the same way. Do it the same way on the other side. Go the opposite direction of the scales. And once again, watch out for the fins. They'll stick you and it don't feel real good at all. I promise you, you won't do it but once. Like I said, get Ryan scales real good. Alright, make sure I got them all. Mm-hmm. Yep. But anyways, after you get the scales off, make sure you got them all off. Like I said, run your fingers around the fins and make sure you got them all. You don't want to be chewing on those scales. All right, for instance, I missed a little bit on this side. All right, now. Well, that's somewhere here too. All right, now once you got all the scales off of it, take the fish. And make sure all the scales are off once again. All right. Seems like he's good. All right. So the next step, once you get the scales off of him, what you want to do is you get your knife, which I got my knife right here. And the best way that you have to cut his head off. Now, the best way I can tell you how to do this is right here where his fins start. Right there where his fin starts, right here. About right in that area, right behind it, right there, cut straight up and straight down the other side. Like right, so, make sure you get a sharp knife when you do this, because remember you are cutting through bone. So be careful not to use a dull knife. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't want to go to the hospital. So cut his head off. Cut straight down. Like right, so. Now, like I said, you will run into uh, his uh, spine. And there's his head. Throw that in the gut bucket. Don't need that no more. 
Now this is where all the this is where all the uh, meat is. Pretty meat inside here. Now all you do is you take the fish and you take them upside down. And you want to get all his guts out of him. You don't want to eat that. And what I like to do is I like to take the knife like so, and I like to stick it through is where his fin starts and try to pull up like so. And when you pull up on it, it makes a little gap right here where you can get all his guts out. Now, all you do is you just get the rest of his guts out. Make sure all the nasty stuff is out of him. And then get the hose pipe. Wash your table off. Now, now you are going to make a mess of this. I am going to tell you that. So don't even try to avoid not making a mess. You're going to make a mess whether way you like it or not. Alright. Now you wash the fish off. You wash the inside of them off. And after that, you have a deadly, a deadly sea crappy. And that's all it is to it. Look at that pretty meat. But that's it. That's how you clean a crappy. Now you can do other fish in general, like I said. Like for instance, I got a bass right here. I done him, done him the same exact way. Look at that pretty meat. Pretty. Done him the same exact way, scaled him. Cut his head off, got all the guts out of him and everything else. So, it's all up to you on how you want to clean, but this is my way and this is the way I love doing it. But, that is it for right now. Until next time, I'll see you guys as it reads outdoors. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch y'all next time. <laughs> Alright, if you like the video you just saw, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm all time making videos and everything else just like the one you just saw. So, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, anything you want. Until next time, this is Reeves Outdoors. And while you're on the old channel here, check out all the other videos I done put out. I'm putting out a video or a couple of videos at least once a week. Until next time, y'all hunt safe, y'all fish safe.